Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So good evening, Forever Australia. But I know this evening we have um, an international call and we have people from all over the world. So this was intended for Australia, but I know we have friends and we have business partners all over the world. So a huge, huge welcome on the call this evening. And for those of you that don't know me, I think most of you do. My name is Neve Neve Kiernan. And as you can tell, I'm not a local. (laughs) So I'm dialing in this morning from Dublin in Ireland. And I've been with Forever now for 17 years. And so I'm not a newbie either. I've been around uh, around quite a while. I'm a Sapphire manager. Um, I got involved literally just to earn that extra income, that happy retailer income from home. And over the last seven years have made a career from forever living so what I would really really encourage you to do today is come into this training with an open mind because you know forever can really and truly change your life completely change your life if you want it to and if you allow it to so the one big thing I say all the time as well is that your why can change your goals can change it can start out as you know if you're on this call and you're thinking to yourself, um, well, you know, I only want to earn an extra $50 or $100 per week, per month. That's okay because that was me as well. And a lot of people will say the same. So, you know, it can change. Your why can change. Your goals can change. What you want from this business can change. And the personal development that this company gives you allows that to happen. So I say that all the time. I'm not the same person I was when I joined Forever 17 years ago. I'm naturally an introvert. I am a very quiet person person you know by nature and I've had to learn the skills of being a professional network marketer and you know it is a skill set that you can learn you don't have to be naturally born with the ability to do network marketing and I firmly believe that it is something that you can learn we have people from all walks of life we are all so much more alike than we are different and I would encourage you to really really think of that and think to yourself how this business can be the vehicle for you in whatever it is that you want in your life right now because we are all, you know, everybody wants different things and everybody joins for different reasons. Um, I joined for that extra income, for that extra, you know, 50 euro, um, 100 euro per week. And then when my husband James got made redundant back in 2011, I had to really step it up a gear. At that point, I was a senior manager anyway, um, and I was getting a nice residual income from Forever. But at that point, Forever became our plan A to Z, and it was a case of, okay, we really need to now get this moving. (laughs) And it's amazing when that needs to happen. You know, we trebled our income in 12 months, and it was a case of this has to work, this has to happen for us. So if you're in a position right now where you really and truly need extra income, you need that that secure residual income coming in every single month, then you need to really take notes. Take notes today and then implement it because action, action, action is where you need to be after a training. Because let me tell you, I know enough about this industry to know that you can be the best note taker in the world. You can be the best training junkie in the world. I used to come home from trainings before we had Zooms and I would sit there all day. I'd pay for a babysitter to come to trainings, to sit, take notes, 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 notes. I was the best note note taker in our industry and I'd come home and the notepad would get put away and I'd be like that was a lovely day that was great yeah yeah I learned loads learned loads and then I'd go to the next training and I actually used to have a notepad that said trainings and you know I'd take out my notepad and I'd be like oh yeah oh god you remember that oh yeah no I never did anything with that so can anyone relate let me know in the chat bar can anyone relate to being that person at times and you kind of think to yourself what am I doing What am I doing? All these brilliant trainings available to me, all the things I'm learning. And yet at the end of the day, when you come home, what you're looking at is the boss. Okay, and it can be really, really scary because you have to take action. And if you take inspired action and you have a must do list, I don't believe in a to do list. A to do list can be put to one side, a must do list, mission critical list every day. Put your oxygen mask on and get to work. And when you do that, I'm telling you, this business is magical. Now, let me see. Can I move the slides? I can. OK, so the fundamentals of forever. So I've put this training together, kind of touching on a few different bits, a few different things. Um, but I honestly think you can never hear it enough. You can never hear the trainings enough. You can never hear the basics of our business enough because it's something that you just need to keep learning. You need to just keep bringing yourself back to school, sharpening your axe, paring your pencil, whatever way you want it, whatever analogy you want to look at it. But it's important that we keep up here really, really sharp in what we're doing. Um, And then you'll be top of your game. 
Okay, so lost in the fog. And I put this slide in because I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but quite often we can just be on autopilot. Life is so busy. Life is so busy. Life is so hectic. And we can get completely and utterly lost in the fog. We know we want to do forever. We're all on this call today because we have one goal. We want to work this business for whatever reasons it is. So we know that. But we can get completely lost as to, you know, what to do, what I should be doing. What are my goals? What is it I want? You know, what is it um, that I want to achieve with this business? How am I going to do it? What should I be doing today? What activities should we be doing? You know, you sit down at your desk or you sit at your kitchen table. You know, I'm in my, well, we turned this room into a little office. I built my business at my kitchen table. I used to sit down and I'd be like, okay, I'm ready to work my business now. What am I going to do? Can anyone relate that you get lost in the fog? That it's just suddenly, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? Yeah. So when you're lost in the fog and either you don't really know where you want to be in your business or you don't know what to do. So nobody's chatting here. Nobody can relate. Can nobody relate to me at all? You all know exactly what you need to do every day, do you? <laughs> I think I think I'm onto the wrong people. So. <laughs> so, okay. So, you know, let me know. I'd love to hear feedback. Do you feel like that at all, that you're completely lost? So being lost in the fog is very, very normal. And in our industry, it can be a reoccurring thing. It doesn't have to be something where you're lost at the beginning of your journey and then suddenly you find your way and voila, you're a manager. It doesn't work like that. You can be lost in the fog at any point and several times, you know, and, and it can be a constant state of fog. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal. OK, so what I'm encouraging you to do, see those little letters there, IPA. They are probably one of the most important letters that you'll ever see. And it's income producing activities. OK, so income producing activities. So you need to be um, focusing on income producing activities because the likes of social media, social media is incredible for your business. But if you go on to social media and you don't know what it is that you need to do that day and you don't know what it is that you have to do on your socials that day, you will literally lose hours of your life that you will never get back. You will fall into a scroll hole. And I get so annoyed with myself when I fall into scroll holes because it still happens to me very regularly. You know, I go on to work my business and suddenly I'm looking at one born every minute and I'm seeing a mother give birth to triplets. And I'm like, how did that happen? How did I fall into the scroll hole? But it happens. OK, it happens and it happens to us all. But the most important thing is that, you know, when to say, OK, enough's enough. That's it. I was even sitting at the kitchen table last night with my son, Sean. Sean is nearly 21 and he's just starting his first business. So he's designing his first business. And I was sitting at the kitchen table with him last night and I was helping him do um do a little, you know, do, do some stuff about it. And um, suddenly he picked up his phone and he logged in to do something. And next of all, I could actually see him laughing. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, oh, look at this, mom. And he showed me this video. And I'm like, Sean, what are you doing? You fall into, you fell into the scroll hole. He says, I know it keeps happening. So it happens to everybody. And that's why social media is there. But this is why it's really, really, really important to be focused. So can anyone type in the chat bar, right? Can anyone know what are some good income producing activities? Do you know any? What do you need to do? And I'm really, really interested in this, guys, because if we know what you know, and we know what you don't know, then it makes it easier for upcoming trainings to help develop that. So, you know, what do you do every day? What are your income producing activities? Because the problem is in network marketing, we can be thinking, 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 thinking about our business. Our business can be 24 seven in our head, but that doesn't mean that it's producing case credits. That doesn't mean it's producing sales. That doesn't mean, guys, I think about my business in the shower. I dream about case credits. When I'm going for car plan, I'm dreaming about it. When I go for chairman's bonus, I'm dreaming about it. It's in my head all the time. But that does not mean that there is 
action involved. So at this point, I'm going to introduce you to um, a wonderful lady, one of my favorite people, um, Fanola, Fanola Gallagher. And Fanola um, has been working alongside me now for 10 years. So she's 10 years in our business. Um, I'm not going to steal her thunder because I am going to ask her to share her story. But I know that Fanola can relate very well to being lost in the fog because we've had many, many discussions about being lost in the fog and the importance of pulling yourself back from that. So Fanola, hello. Good, good morning or good evening, everybody, I, I should know, say, in Australia or in I Northern know. Ireland. Good morning, good Christina, morning, whatever. Girl. Good evening in Australia. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Yeah, I know. This, Absolutely. You know, this it's great to have you on. This call literally does have people from Dubai, Mauritius. We have people from all over the world that log in and that view it afterwards. So wherever you are, hello, hello, hello. Hello, okay. hello, exactly. <laughs> Fanola, I mean, very briefly, good. tell people, yeah. Fanola, very briefly your story, because I know a lot of people wouldn't have heard it. Okay, my story is I'm 10 years in forever, as Neve is after saying this year. And um, I worked in the local authority here, which is the public service. It's your permanent pensionable job. I've been doing it for over 30 years. Um, but then my dad got sick and I wanted flexibility and I wanted time with him. So I took reduced hours, reduced hours meant a reduced income, but my bills were the same. And that's when forever appeared in my life. I had seen it twice before and refused it. Absolutely no way. It wasn't for me. Less than one. When you're talking to people, don't take it. That is a definitive no. And But the time was right for me to look at it again. And when I looked at it, I just saw the possibility, the possibility of being able to just generate an additional two, three hundred euro that would just take financial pressure off me. I had no idea what I was getting into. Absolutely none. And I have to say, 10 years down the road, it has been the most positive impact on my life to date. And I'm not saying that to just impress you. I'm saying it as a reality for me. I often pinch myself in the mornings and think, where would I be now if I didn't have forever? If that little girl called Amy O'Mara hadn't had the courage to come up to me and just ask me, would I be open? to taking a look and that's all she asked and I committed to going along to a day to have a look no clue what was coming along and it was just the buzz and the excitement and the energy of the people in that room that really gave me the I suppose the the courage to just hell go for it that was my attitude. I knew nothing about it. And all I said was, if I saw Marion Fitzgerald, who's one of the top FBOs in Ireland on the stage, and I just said, if she can do it, surely I can. I had no knowledge of the business, no knowledge of the product, definitely wasn't into sales. Like Neve, I was never a person to step out into the spotlight. No matter what happened at work, I always said, leave me in the background. I'll do the work, but don't put me out front. And in the 10 years I've been here, I've done coaching on stage. I've done speaking. I've attended conferences like this, done trainings, which was so out of my comfort zone 10 years ago. So this business definitely builds people, Neve, as you always say, as much as it grows, it grows people as much as it grows aloe. And I can very much relate to Neve saying there about, you know, um, personal development, first of all, and the personal development, if you embrace it, and that is the thing, if you start reading the books, listening to the podcasts, listen to the training, really work on your mindset, guys, because the only obstacle to you building your business is yourself. There are loads of other reasons we can give, but all of them are just excuses. It is yourself will be the challenge. And if you can really work on yourself and build yourself and and been on this call, guys. Congratulations. That is the first step because you're amongst people who believe and have passion about the business and the products. And you're hearing about simple ways of doing it. But as Neve said, then it's to have that courage to just step out and do one little action that you haven't been doing that will move you towards your goal. I think the other thing that really hit me when he was saying it, because I'm 10 years, but my 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 journey has been up and down. It hasn't been a straight run or straight up the way. It was in the beginning. It went straight up with the rocket. It was brilliant. But it dipped hugely again. It's come back up and it's dipped again. And I'm now rebuilding again. But that's the amazing thing about this business. It doesn't matter where you are in it, whether you're just starting, whether you're five years into, whether you're 10 years, it doesn't matter. You can choose when to start. You can choose to start over and over. And you are the one that makes that decision. But to, the key is to make that decision. My business didn't start. I joined in June and I didn't actually start my business until September. 
because I didn't make the decision that I was going to go for it. And I made the decision then that no matter what, I would be for CC Active because that was what the company give us as the base to build a solid business. So what I would say to you is no matter where you are, if you're building a house, you want to put in the right foundation so that house will last. And that's what your 4CC is. It's to get the, in the habit of or developing the habit of doing your 4CC. That looks huge when you're starting out. But the very first way it starts is by you making the decision to commit to it. So that was a big thing for me. And then, as Neve said, it's about the action. What it's doing and what Neve and I are going to cover today are going to be those little actions and those little activities you can do to start building into your daily routine that will build your business. But it's up to you to work the mindset. It's up to you to read the books, listen to the podcast. We'll advise you on that. And then the little activities we will go through today, if you can pick one or two of them to really focus on, one or two of them that are maybe within your comfort zone or just on the edge of it, that'll grow you a little bit. Not the big ones. Forget about them for the time being, but focus on those little ones. Say, well, maybe I could do an aloe bar in my local supermarket. Maybe I just sit up a table, bring three of the, the gels with me, put them on the table. I just say to people, just taste them. Hand them out a card with my contact details on them. It might be a simple thing. But we're going to go through that and I'll let Neve lead us on that. So I hope that's Absolutely. given a little bit of an idea where I come from. For sure, Fanola. Thank you so much. And thank you for those amazing tips. And you know, when you say there about like you got started in the June, but didn't actually move your business till the September. And I think a lot of people, when they join, if it doesn't immediately take off for them or they don't run with it in that first six months, they think, oh, this is not for me. Oh, you know, this is this definitely isn't for me or whatever. But it just goes to show that when you decide to move your business, that's when it moves. Deciding, deciding, deciding. OK, guys, another you're going to laugh at this one. So full throttle needed. Now, this is one of my favorite analogies, and I use it all the time because, number one, I hate flying. So it always amazes me how that actually gets up in the air. <laughs> but the other big, big thing is that, you know, it's so true. Well, the first time I heard this analogy, I thought to myself, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I think you can actually put it into so many areas in your life. It's not just your business. It's whatever you're passionate about, whatever it is that you need to succeed in, you need to go full throttle. Now, when we say full throttle, guys, we don't mean committing your whole life to forever. I don't mean having to do this business 40, 60, 80 hours a week. I don't mean, you know, having it as a huge constant source of stress in your life because you need to do so much of it. When I say full throttle, whatever full throttle is to you. So whatever time you have in your planner. So if you planned out your week and you know where those little slots are that you're going to be able to do your business, that's full throttle. Whatever you know that whatever time you have. So I've had many a conversation with FBOs that feel really frustrated because they work full time. They have kids. The activities, you know, I know myself, I have three kids. I'm gone every night now with football and GAA and I'm on the road the whole time. And it's really, really hard. And it is difficult to find those slots of time. So I have always built my business literally in the pockets of time. So for me, that's full throttle. For me, it's taking advantage of when I have 20 minutes instead of, you know, finding something else to do in the house, because the house is never ending. The house will never, there will always be something to do. But instead of doing that, I think no. And I actually go and I sit down with my phone, I take out my diary and I do 20 minutes. What happens if I do that three times a day? That's an hour of work a day. And people say, you know, I don't have time to do this business. Well, actually you do. We all have time, but you are prioritizing your time for different things. So when you have those tiny little pockets of time, you know, last night, prime example, I put the dinner on, I put the potatoes on, they were boiling, I had the meat in the oven, I the, the vegetables were cooking. And the timer on the, the clock said half an hour, or 20 minutes or half an hour, whatever it was. I could have easily gone into the utility room, started folding clothes, took out the Hoover, do 20 minutes of whatever, you know, but I didn't. I said of 20 minutes. And I actually remember sitting down getting stuck in, doing some things and then the beeping going on the oven. And I went, wow, God, that's done already. You know, but I got messages sent. I got a post done on my product group. I got a certain amount of the IPAs done and it was 20 minutes. So it's those 
magic little slots in your day that you can fill with activity. For me, that's full throttle. Okay, so even though forever is my sole income and what I do, it's my passion. I absolutely love it. I don't sit for hours and hours and hours every day doing it. I do it around a very busy house, a very busy family. I've got three dogs. I've got three kids. You know, it's nonstop in this house. So most definitely for me, full throttle is that. But I want you to ask yourself now, what is full throttle for you? Okay, because if you imagine that plane on the runway, and to get to the end of that runway and to get that plane up in the sky, that pilot at the start of the runway goes full throttle. He does not hesitate. He does not stop. He does not go a little bit down, stop, a little bit down, stop, possibly even reverse a little bit down. The plane would never take off, guys. The plane would never get in the air. Whereas when that pilot, you know that feeling, don't you, Finola? Well, at the end of the runway and you can actually feel because he just goes for it you're thrown back in your seat you've the only thing you can do is just pray <laughs> that he gets it up but his his whole job is to get that plane in the sky there is no hesitation there is no will i won't i oh let's see oh let's do this instead it's get the plane up speed 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 full throttle it's the exact same with your business it amazes me sometimes how people say i've taken the month off I'm like, what? Where's your momentum? You need momentum. And momentum is like, as well, getting the car. If your car breaks down and you need to push that car to get it going, once you get that car going, okay, once you get the going, there's no stopping it. So you have to keep thinking to yourself, okay, I need momentum, momentum in your business, full throttle. But I don't want to frighten people by me saying this. Vanola, can you agree with this at all? Yeah, absolutely. And I love that analogy, Neve, that you're saying full throttle is different for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's the amazing thing about forever is that it fits in around your life. You know, rather than, as you were saying, Neve, feeling the pressure of having to do it. It's another job. It's another yeah. weight on me. This is the amazing business that you fit it into the nooks and crannies. And I mean, I often hear from people, I don't have time. Yeah. I, when I joined the business, I was working full time. I had a private practice. I'm a reflexologist, holistic therapist. I had a private practice running and my one, my dad was sick. So I had full on no time if you looked at it. But yet I saw the potential to build something for me that would give me something very positive in my life. So for me, my full throttle was exactly as Neve had said, just fitting it into the nooks and crannies, talking to my colleagues at work, talking to my family and friends, mentioning to them, giving out a little sample here and there. That was my full throttle at the time because I, I wasn't able to give any more. But then when you do that consistently, that's as Neve had said, when you feel the momentum and you feel it building, and then it becomes natural that it's just part of the day and you build in something else then. Within a year of being in this business, I was able to step away from my job. And that was building it very much part time in the little nooks and crannies. But again, as Neve had said, it was about having clarity that when you had those five minutes or those 10 minutes, what am I doing? Rather than spending those five minutes thinking, now, what will I do in those five minutes? You know, you're going to have that five minutes, maybe sitting, waiting for uh, your kids to come out of school. What are you doing in those five minutes? Well, I have A, B, C and D people that I want to send a message to. That's your business done mm -hmm. for those five minutes. So, yeah, it's brilliant. And I love that it is about full throttle being what you what can fit into your day right now in order to get your business moving. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It is so true because I think a lot of people feel guilty when they hear other people doing a lot more than them and, you know, they feel frustrated and they just stop altogether instead of saying, okay, this is what I can do. I need to be at peace with that. And I know I'm given a full throttle. And I think when we do that, and then our situations always change. Everyone's situations change, you know, as the seasons pass and, and kids even get older, you know, everything changes. So, um, yeah, so full throttle, guys, I hope you're making notes on this and I'm hoping you're 
you're writing down what full throttle is to you and you know how much time you can really give this business and bringing it back to why why you're doing this you know and um, Gina Ryan said on stage we had a Dublin event um on Saturday and something I think will always stick in my head is willpower will only last so long your why power will keep you going in this business and it's true your willpower you know it's it's your or your motivation your willpower whatever it, you know it doesn't last you have to be constantly thinking about it to to rejuvenate it but it's your why power so bringing it back to if you struggle with mm, do I want to do this then think why you're doing it and that will kind of get your butt off the couch and get you moving <laughs> It's the same when you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to, you know, you have to think about why you're doing it to get yourself out walking. You have to think about why you're doing it to cook the healthy meals instead of eating a burger. And it's the same with anything in life. You know, it's your your why power. So I absolutely love that. OK, so let's take a look at what is a case credit. Now, this is obviously Australian figures, guys, and um, because this is uh, primarily for forever Australia. But I think most of you I had a quick look on there. Anyone from Ireland, you know what CCs are. OK, and um, so forever is and um, forever runs an internal company currency. So it's like going to, um, you know, Woolworths or cost cutters or Tesco's or wherever and using their loyalty program so it's basically like a loyalty program where you will build up case credits so it's case credits okay and case credits as i said an internal company currency which means that you can build your business in australia in ireland in the united states anywhere across europe anywhere and we won't be talking us dollars euros sterling australian dollars we will be talking case credits and the reason we do that is to keep things across the line very very easy so i can log into my database and i can say you know what are my case credits in the states what are my case credits in australia this month what are my case credits in you know italy this month wherever i get incomes from around the world i don't talk the currency I talk case credits however you get paid in the currency so you're not going to get paid in case credits and that's the important part is that they're going to pay you with real money okay so forever's internal company currency um so retail value is 420 dollars for a case credit um including all your taxes and everything which it gives you 124 retail profit so as an assistant supervisor for someone new in the business you're making 124 dollars so i think that's incredible and i think it's really really important to kind of zone in on focusing on the profit that you are making and when you're new in the business especially um until you get into the swing of things write everything down write everything down everything i had notepads after notepads after notepads when i placed an order how much the wholesale order was what the case credits was yes you can log into your account you can print out whatever you need but for me james used to laugh all the time because you know he's the digital guy everything's on spreadsheets everything's on computers everything's there for me everything was written down so i had notepad after notepad and i'd write in my order the wholesale amount, the retail amount, the profit I'd make. And don't forget that the products that you are using yourself for you and your family, there's a cost involved in them. So I've seen some people make mistakes over the years where they're using their credit card, for instance. OK, and some of you might never have even thought of this, but I think this is a really, really valuable lesson that when you're using your credit card to order your forever products and you get your order delivered to your house and you're delighted and you look after your customers and you you give the products to all your customers and you pay the money off your credit card, don't you? Yeah, you pay the wholesale amount off your credit card and you keep the profits of the profits in cash. So it's fantastic. But after six or eight or nine months or maybe a year of doing this, you notice that your credit card bill is going up and up and up and up and you can't figure out. I had one lady and she could not figure out. She was putting all of the wholesale amount, you know, she was putting all fr from her customers. So her customers would pay her. She'd work out the wholesale amount. She put that off her credit card and she could not figure out how the credit card bill was not coming down. She still owed money every month. And, you know, the bill was getting higher and higher and higher. And when I delved into it further and I went through her accounts with her, I said, OK, so as a family, you're using maybe one cc a month or one and a half, two cc's per month in product you all drink aloe vera gel, you're taking the shake, you're taking Arctic Sea, you're using the soap, you're using the, sh you know, the shampoo, the toothpaste, the deodorant, whatever. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, so how do you pay for your product? And it was just like a light bulb moment. She hadn't even thought of that. 
Okay, so her personal usage of the product was just being left on her credit card every month. Now, that is a really, really, really good thing to explain to new people that join your team as well. Don't forget to pay for your own product. You're buying it at wholesale, but you still have to pay it. And that way, you're not going to be getting yourself into trouble and that your 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 accounts. Fanola, I'm sure you've heard stories like this in the past as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think a, a very important point as well, Neve, is to have a different purse for your for forever money. Because it's so easy for somebody to pay you. You put it in your pocket or you put it in your purse and then you go into the shop to get the shopping and yeah. you use that money and you haven't accounted that money or set it aside. Yeah. So what I did from the very outset, I got a little plastic envelope, zipped envelope, and anything related to my business went in there. If I yeah. went out for a cup of coffee with a friend and I mentioned the word forever, I take that receipt and I put it in against my business because I've talked to that person about the business or I've mentioned about the product or whatever. You know, everything, every little bill, every little invoice, anything like that, but also every bit of money you get relates to your business, pop it into your envelope because yeah. otherwise it gets, doesn't it, so soon to leave into your own expenses. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So it is important to understand case credits, to understand your expenses, to understand that you're in a business. And, you know, I say this all the time, you know, businesses, if you treat this like a business, you will earn money. If you treat it like a hobby, hobbies cost you money. OK, so treat it like a business from day one. Understand the profit that you're making on a case credit. Understand the importance of um, four case credits and why we do four case credits. OK, so four case credits. Like, So why do we do four CCs? So, you know, that previous picture showed us a one CC value. We try all of us as business owners to do minimum of four CCs per month. Four CCs is not, you know, it's not a target, it's a baseline. And I would really, really encourage you to flip that in your mind that we're not encouraging you to do four CCs. We're encouraging you to kind of start at four CCs up. And reason being that we know you're earning money if you're doing this, um, you know, if you're doing this to earn an income into your home, four CC is a really good building, business building discipline. And if 17 years, I've never missed a month. It was a non-negotiable. Finola, you're the same. It's just, you know, four CCs is a non-negotiable in your business. What's made it even more important in um in recent years is the change of the marketing plan where they give an extra 5%. So when you're 4CC active, it unlocks an extra 5% when you are an assistant supervisor. So if you're an assistant supervisor on 30% and you do your 4CCs, you get 5% back on all of your sales that month. That's really, really nice, guys. So the more you sell then, you're earning 35% on everything. So it's an immediate retailing pub. 4CCs is essential for your team bonus, okay? So it's essential for your team bonus. So if you have a team, if you're a supervisor and above and you have a team and you want to get paid on any of the sales going through your team, you need to be 4CC active to get that bonus. 4CCs is required for move-ups. So I know you're probably thinking, well, like if I was moving up, of course I'm gonna do my 4CCs. However, that's not always the case. And I have seen in the past, you know, I'm around this industry so long. I've seen so many different scenarios in my team that I've gone, OK, you know, you really don't want to do that. I've seen the stress that that causes and the distress that that causes. And it's really not fun. So um, I had one lady before and she had signed in a few people who signed in a few people. Her business had grown. She had an awful lot going on in her life. She wasn't really doing her 4CC. She was kind of some months doing it, some months not missing out on bonuses because of that. And then one person person in her team completely took off so completely took off and she was going for manager and she kind of woke up in the last month and went okay I'm going to do this I'm going to go manager and we had amazing celebrations she went manager and oh it was just fantastic it was such a great day and she was so delighted and everything was incredible and then we got a phone call we got a phone call from the office here in Ireland and I'll never forget Deborah's voice and she was like need we have a problem and I said what's the problem because this girl going manager was going to make me, oh, uh, must have been soaring manager at the time, must have been soaring manager. So I thought I got a pin move up. She got a pin move up. We were absolutely thrilled. And she said she hasn't done her four CCs in the first month. And I went, what? <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was like, what do you mean? I said, she's done 120 CCs over two months. And she said, yeah, but her four CCs weren't done in the first month. 
and they were in the second. So the volume was coming from her group, but she'd missed her four CCs. And do you know she didn't become a manager? Okay, so you need, can you imagine that, Fanola? I mean, my stomach is just turning at the idea of it. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think, as you said, that's where it shows it's about the basics. Get the yeah. foundation right. Yeah. Build it. And it doesn't have to be built overnight, but yeah. it has to start with the decision to build it. Yeah. And it has to start with the focus. And then once it actually starts and once you do it, I have a girl that I've been working. She's not even in my downline. She's cross line to me. And I've been working with her for about the last 12 months. And when she started, she's in the business about five years and she has always struggled with or four mm -hmm. because she'd never really decided and we we spoke about it she made the decision she was going for it and now she is I think she's on her seventh month for CC active Amazing. and it's coming to her it's just Amazing. coming to her because Amazing. she's focused on getting it so yeah it's brilliant but oh my gosh yeah 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 so guys don't let that be you make four CCs a business building discipline okay and you can do it you can absolutely break it down I always say four cc's if you're struggling with it do one cc a week make sure at the end of each week that you have a one cc order that's gone in and that way you know it's very very measured it's an achievable goal and it's measured and you know at the end of the week yes you can tick it it's done and then you move on don't wait till the end of the month putting in four cc's it's very very stressful that way OK, great recognition. So across all the different countries, we do lots of different recognitions. It's a pure example to your team. And I think, you know, if you have even if you don't have a team and you're talking to someone about the business, you want to build a business. OK, so you want to build a business. You want to share this opportunity. You want a royalty income. You want all these different things. And you start talking to people about forever. And if you start talking to people about forever, you can say, I am earning money. Look, I'm doing my four CCs each month. That means I'm earning X, Y and Z. OK, so it gives you confidence. Doing your four CCs gives you confidence and gives you belief in the product, in the business, in the industry, in the company and in yourself. So all you do is do it, teach it, rinse and repeat, do it, teach it. I have always, always, always said I will never ask anyone in my team to do anything that I haven't done. I will never encourage them to qualify for anything that I haven't qualified for. OK, so you will lead. You will lead by example. And the, the very, very basics is your four case credits. And um, so let me know in the chat bar. Do you do your four CCs or do you struggle with your four CCs? I would love to know this. Or what would your CCs be normally? So let us know in the chat bar. Be brutally honest, guys. I want to hear honesty here. And um, we're all in a very, very safe place where we can talk and we can, you know, and it's good to say, no, well, I struggle. I need help because that's when we know what to train on, what to talk about. OK, um, and then you might find and if you do have good case credits, could you give us your number one tip? What is your number one tip regarding case credits and how how you achieve them? So I would love to hear this. OK, so Neve, I can, can I just come in there with just yeah. one thing as well, Neve? Um, you know, the important thing as well, guys, is to have fun with this business. When I started out, I started using the products. I started on the C9. I didn't even buy in on the box. I started on a C9. But when I used that product, I felt amazing. I could not get over how good I felt. And because I knew what it was like to do it, because I knew what the products were like, I could then talk with passion and excitement to people. And that is what people hear. So don't feel this is a huge weight on you. It's not. It's such an exciting and fun business. And the potential is amazing. But just remember, it's about going out and having chats with people and talking and having fun. And when you use the products and you feel the benefit, it's very easy then to share them. So it's just keep that in mind as well when you're doing it. It's fun business that can give you so much and it's about just starting with the small simple steps absolutely absolutely so i see we have christine here who is brand new welcome christine so are you in australia christine let me know if you're in australia or whereabouts in the Northern world in ireland i think over oh, ireland yeah. just started on yeah. the third of october fantastic um, I got 4.8 cc's now. Luisa, Oops. brilliant. Luisa, Please. looking forward to seeing you. So I'm going to um I'm going to Australia now in just a few weeks, and I'm very, very excited. I know Luisa is coming from Perth to Sydney to join in our celebrations. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. Um, me and names. <laughs> I was gonna say Ingrid, but it's Ingrid Ing I can't pronounce that name. I'm really sorry. Ingrid. 
Yeah. Yes, yes, nice. yes. Every month. Well, well done on your four CCs every month. Arlene. Hi, Arlene. Great to see you on. Top tip. Use the products. Promote the products. Sell one product a day. Absolutely. So one product a day is a really good habit to get into. Um, and then, you know, I suppose it keeps you focused, doesn't it, on that one product and trying to sell one thing a day. And that all adds up. Absolutely. Absolutely. So how do we do our four CCs? Now, this is a controversial thing that trainers all across the world in forever will train differently on. And I know this because I've been to so many trainings and I myself, and I know myself and James are very, very strongly opinionated on this. And I know that because I believe that you need to see money in your pocket. And I believe that doing your four CCs, if you're not retailing four CCs, if you are combining it, so technically, any orders that go through your account technically count towards your 4 case credits. So using the products, so personal use, retailing, or when you sponsor somebody, that all counts towards your 4 CCs. However, we've crunched the numbers on this and we know that if you are using your personal use as case credits and you're using sponsoring as case credits and you're only doing one CC of retail, then you're not making money. You're not making enough money. It's not working because the personal use products that you're using, your retail is just about covering them. So you're actually not seeing the money. So when we say, show me the money, you can't show anyone the money because you're not actually making it. So don't fall into that trap. Whereas if you are focused on retailing four case credits a month, enjoy the retail. As Fanula, Fanula said, enjoy the process. I love retailing. I have a residual income. I have a royalty income. I could just not work forever now and do my four CCs and get paid a considerable amount every month. But I love the retail. I absolutely love it. I love helping people. I love seeing a difference in people's lives. I love being able to recommend the products. I just love retail. So for me, the minimum is four CCs, but the minimum is always an awful lot more. So I'd be in the top retailers in Ireland nearly every month because I love retailing. So when we look at our retail income, it's huge. And we do so much with it as a family. The retail income, cash. When you have a family, cash coming into the house. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just constantly handing out money to the kids. <laughs> it's just like, here, you need this, you need this, you need this, you know? Um, and cash is amazing. And profit like that is fantastic. So if you can use 4CC's retail, yeah, you're making money. Then you sponsor on top of that you're making money by sponsoring and then your personal use. So your minimum case credits would be four CCs retail, two CCs from sponsoring somebody and then whatever extra personal use on top of that. Does that make sense to everybody? Fanola, how you've built your business. I know you have a good retail as well. Would you agree, to agree with this scenario? Absolutely. But I have to say that I don't think I'll ever say that I love retail. No. <laughs> Not like me anyway. No, I but don't. what I find sometimes I think that word can be very frightening. And in the past, it would have a negative connotation. You know, people saying, oh, my God, she's selling something, yeah. you know. So and I would have come from that that uh, place, basically. But what I found was, as I've said before, when I use the products and feel how good I feel using them and listen to the testimonials and hear other people's stories, I had no problem then talking about the products. Yeah. And because I'm talking about the products, this is a use and recommend business. And what I found then was people say, oh, maybe I'll try that cream. So I never felt I was retailing as such. I was sharing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's another way of looking at it. It all depends on how you look at it. But now I love sharing the products, which is my retail business. And yes, I will always aim for my 4CC in retail and beyond if I can. Mm -hmm. I won't limit myself to 4 So well, why can't I just get 6? Why can't I get 10 CCs? Who's to say what I can do? Well, exactly. it's about talking to people and sharing, but it is about building a good retail business first and foremost, because that's the foundation of the business. And when you do it yourself, you can show others how to do it very easily. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So there's a screenshot there, one of my months, um, one of my lower months, actually. Um, but we just wanted to show you my personal CCs was nine. OK, preferred customer. So that's from people that I'd sponsored into the business. 
Yeah. So the people that I brought into the business plus my personal left me on 15.977. Um, so you count them all together. However, you know, you, you can you can do them different ways. But I would really, really encourage you to try and do your four on retail and um, retail recommending whatever wording you want to use it. And, you know, I'm big, big, big into um, not being that pushy person not being that person that people go, oh, here she comes again. You know, as Fanola said, there's someone that's selling something and um, selling your soul. And I'm not like that at all. You can do it in a very, very um, casual recommendation way. And when you're using the products and you're really recommending them, then that's the way it comes across. Okay, so let's have a look at our marketing plan. And, you know, this kind of all builds into one. You look at the case credits, you look at the, the, the magic of four case credits, you look at our marketing plan. So all um, move ups are over a two month period. So when you look at our marketing plan, it's our stairway to heaven. It's whatever way you want to call it. Um, and, you know, it's it's entirely up to you. As I said earlier on, the full throttle is it's you. It's your goals. It's your needs. It's what it is you want from this business. Maybe you are very, very happy on 35% every month. Maybe your focus is, you know, that you want an extra two or $300 into your home. You just want to retail a little bit of product. You just want to, you know, you don't want to introduce this business to anybody. That's okay. If you don't want to introduce this business to anybody, you don't have to. You can perfectly 1 million percent just retail the product, recommend them, use the product, recommend it to other people, become a raving fan. And, you know, if you become a raving fan of the product, then it is just so easy to talk about it to people because these products really and truly will change your life. And it's so, so easy to talk to people about it then. So the marketing plan, when you look at it, and you look at the stairway to heaven as such, it's the different levels of our marketing plan. And it's very individual to you and it's very personal to you as to where you need to be. Where you need to be. Not where you think you need to go, not where your sponsors tell me you need to be. Because if you have that fire in your belly and you really, really, really want to hit a level, guess what? You will put in the work to do that because you really want to do it. So, you know, everyone is so different. Everyone is so, so different. So you can have different levels, assistant supervisor, supervisor, assistant manager or manager. The whole way up, you're earning more money, you're helping more people and you're building solid foundations. If you do this right and you build your business with solid foundations, you will only build it once. You will only build that base once, okay? So the base needs to be strong and sturdy. And by doing that, you're going to help so many people. So remember, we're going to use the products, we're going to recommend the products, and we're going to share the opportunity with other people. By sharing the opportunity, you not only have your own case credits, you have your team case credits. So we call it total group volume. Your total group volume is the case credits that are generated by your whole team. So if we look at assistant supervisor, and then we look at the moving to supervisor. So moving to supervisor is brilliant. It's one of the key levels on our marketing plan. So people look at manager and they go, yeah, I want to get to manager. Focus on supervisor. Focus on getting to supervisor and then focus on redoing that over and over and over and over again. And focus on, on your team, you know, helping your team get to supervisor. So supervisor is 25 case credits over two consecutive months. All move ups are over a two month period. So it could be October, November, November, December. You make your plan. OK, the case credits from your qualifying month. So if you do 10 CCs this month in October and 15 CCs in November, those 15 CCs can then be used as your base month for going for assistant manager. And you go for 60 case credits then the following month and you are an assistant manager. Um, sorry, remind me later. Something's gone wrong here. There we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, computer. There we go. Now, sorry about that. So that's where you need to be. And that's where you need to really, really focus on, okay, do I need to be a supervisor? Do I need to be an assistant manager? Or do I want to be a manager? Being a manager unlocks everything. Being a manager unlocks the marketing plan. Being a manager literally unlocks. It's like opening Pandora's box. Everything is open to you. We have earned incentive, which is car plan. We have ego manager. So who wants to be an ego manager? Let me know in the chat bar who would like 
the trips every year. Yeah. So who would like that? Who would like to be on car plan? So you get to manager and then very, very quickly in your first year then can become an Eagle manager. So you can go straight, have your goal set as Eagle manager. So let me know in the chat bar who would like to be an Eagle. Finola, you've been on Eagle manager retreats. What is Eagle all about? Do you love it? Oh, do you know what? It's just phenomenal. And I mean, when I started out, I had no idea what I was letting myself in for. So the recognitions that the company give you from every little thing that you do and to achieve Eagle, to achieve manager was phenomenal. But, you know, in all the time I was doing that business, I was focusing on, as you said, Neve, at the beginning, the supervisor, just requalifying for supervisor over and over and over and showing others how to do the same. So it wasn't that I was focused on manager. I was focused on doing the basics and doing them right. Mm -hmm. I always, always promoted the 4CC for everybody. So I had team doing 4CCs. And you, if you have 19, 20 people doing 4CCs, you're going to achieve everything along the, 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 the marketing plan. But Eagle is just phenomenal. What the company give you, they treat you to an all expenses paid trip. They give you spending money. They pay for your hotel. They pay for your um your accommodation, your flights, everything. But it's the sense that you have of being valued mm -hmm. for doing something you love. Because I loved it. I loved sharing. I love talking with people. I love being with people, helping people to build their businesses. I loved all of that. And to actually then get and a, a, an award like an Eagle Manager trip was just phenomenal. And I really don't think we can impress upon you how amazing it is. You really have to experience it. But put it on your goal board. You Absolutely. know, there's nothing to say. That's it. It's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. And I think if the important thing in that marketing plan, guys, as well, is to remember, if you are selling your products, why not be earning 48% on them as opposed to 30 or 35%? Mm -hmm. Why not be earning 48%? Getting your products for nearly half price, mm -hmm. for making nearly half of that the price of that product back on profit. It's amazing. No, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Yeah, as you said there, even the retailing of the product instead of 30, 30%, 48 like It's a no-brainer. Phenomenal, yeah. No-brainer completely. Okay, so as I said there, link your goals to the marketing plan. OK, so whether you want an extra 100 euro a week or whether you want to leave work in two years, I think it is important to have short term goals and long term goals. Reason for that is you can have a long term goal that you want to be able to retire from work. You want to be able to pay off your mortgage. You want to be on 100K a year residual income and um, you want flexibility, all the different things we shout out about in our industry. However, that takes time. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not something that you're going to have that overnight or within a couple of months. It takes time. But in the meantime, what are you achieving? In the meantime, how are you feeling? In the meantime, what are you getting to enjoy? In the meantime, all those little wins create one big win. And um, that is very, very important to look at the income that is coming in and the goals that you are achieving. So your personal goal might be $100 per week. What will that $100 a week be able to do for you? Well, maybe you'll be able to pay horse riding lessons for your kids. Maybe you will be able to put it towards the mortgage or maybe, you know, to get to, to bring your family out for a meal, you know, once a month or whatever the goals are for you to enjoy it, to have something that you say, yes, forever. Thank you forever. And I still with the children still and we're 17 years in. You know, I was out with them recently. Where were we? I can't remember where we were. I can't remember where we were, actually, but we were in a shop. I think we were in Pennies, like Primark. And, you know, they got that we went into Pennies and they bought, you know, new pajamas and new clothes and new whatever they wanted. And I kind of just let them let them loose and let them go around and see what they wanted. And we got to the till and, you know, it was 200 euro or it was quite a lot for Pennies. And uh, and they were like, oh, mom, thanks. Thanks so much. And I said, well, thank you to forever, because without forever, I wouldn't be able to do this for you today. And even to this day, the two girls went, thank you forever. You know, and it, it's it's making them aware that the money that I've just spent on their little shopping spree 
came from me working forever. And I think that's important as well when you have a family because they see mom doing work or dad or whoever. And, you know, they see you sacrificing some family time to do that or putting it into the nooks and crannies or maybe not having as much time to sit and watch TV with them because you're working your business or whatever it is. But, you know, you're going to do your pop-up shop on a Saturday morning you know, and you're not here in the house with them on a Saturday morning. So there's lots of different things that you have to be able to then say, well, actually, it's because of me working my business that we've been able to do this. So we've always said it when when Sean would get new football boots or whatever. I'd say, you know, it's thanks to mommy doing this that we have and um, that we have the money to do that. So if you have children, then it's very, very relevant to get them involved. I think it's very important to get them involved and for them to have a vision and for them to see how hard you're working on it as well. So, you know, whatever your goals are, your short-term goal would be to get to manager, your long-term goal is to get to Sapphire manager, whatever level you need for that income. Um, and that's important as well. Short-term goals and long-term goals. Finola, what are your thoughts on this? My thoughts I've just written down here. The, the amazing thing about it as well is it's your choice. You know, um, first of all, it's your time. You have control over what time you want to put into this business. It's not somebody else dictating you have to do this hour, that hour you have. You choose it around your family and your work commitments. It's also, you know, um, I think it's your choice. You decide, right, I want whatever it is. Maybe I want to bring the kids um, or get the kids swimming lessons. Maybe something like that, right? But it's your choice that you can say, I can choose to do that. I have now the ability to earn that money flexibly and yeah. I can give that to the kids. And I think that is massive. To have that choice is just unbelievable. And I think here in Ireland, I mean, selling um, a litre of aloe, it's almost, not quite, but it's almost equivalent to the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So you're selling a product that's nearly giving you what the minimum wage is here that you have to work for yeah. in other circumstances. So you can choose an hour's work and earn more in that hour by being focused and doing the right activity than you would in a day or maybe even a week at a job. Mm -hmm. So it's your choice. And I think you decide no matter what you want in life, you can put it on your goal board and as Neve said, break it down into steps that you need to do to achieve it. Whereas if you're in a job, which I have been for over 35 years, somebody else is dictating to me all the time when I have to work, where I have to work and how much I can earn. Mm -hmm. And it's really impress upon you guys that this opportunity gives you those choices. Mm -hmm. While it's slow, maybe starting out and it's scary, just keep Focused on where you're going and what you want. And those little goals, as Neve said, the little ones that, that you plan in your short term are those little confidence builders and they're the little stepping stones to helping you along the way to achieving the larger ones. Absolutely. 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 Oh, it's so important. It's so important to have something to work towards. One million percent. OK, so I'm going to finish up on this slide because there's more slides. But because we've gone into such detail, what we'll do is we'll do a second training on the rest of the slides because I don't want to rush it. OK, because I would do you an injustice if we rush the rest. And there's just so much that we can talk about and add value to. So we'll finish up on this slide. But the importance of getting your business in front of a new set of eyeballs. So Dr. Tom Barrett, Finola, we've been at many events with Dr. Tom Barrett mm -hmm. and this is definitely one of the golden nuggets, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Dare to dream, work to win. Look him Dare. up. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Dr. Tom Barrett, guys, if you haven't studied him and you haven't listened to his audios, read his books, Dare to Dream, Work to Win, he is incredible. He's a master in our industry. He is just, he's a legend and his stuff is fantastic. And I can honestly say he left such a a huge print on on me as as a leader as well and you know we've immersed ourselves in his teachings and he's fantastic absolutely brilliant but this is fundamentally the most important thing honestly to get your product and your opportunity in front of new eyeballs all the time so quite often we hear in our business you know all oh, my friends don't want to know or my family aren't interested or my friend keeps asking me all these product questions and I you know she's she's nitpicking she's picking she doesn't like this ingredient and she doesn't like that ingredient and I'm just like find new people don't try okay don't try and 
um, persuade people. Don't try and convince people. There are enough people on this planet that want our products. We start with our warm market because it's practice. Warm market, using our warm market, we um, easily ourselves can talk to people that we know. People generally do business with people that they like, know and trust. However, with their beliefs or their state of mind, quite often, even if they like, know and trust you um, regarding what they believe, they still won't look at our business or they still won't look at our product or where they're at at that time. And I think that's important to remember as well, that we have different type of people that we're talking to. When we're talking to someone about our business, we have people that are immediately ready to jump on board. We have people that see the potential, but it's not for them. And we have people that it's just absolutely no. And I think, <laughs> excuse me, it's important to recognize that as well. It's really, really important to recognize that. So you need to get in front of a new set of eyeballs all the time. How are you going to do that? You're going to work your who do you know list. So you're going to work your who do you know list. You're going to talk to new people. You're going to create new online events. You're going to do WhatsApp groups. So we, I've done trainings on how to run WhatsApp events. So make sure you look up that training. Um, use your socials. Yeah, so use your socials every day. You will sell in your stories. You, in your stories, in your socials, you are talking to new people all the time. You will have a certain amount of people that watch all your stories. Take note of who's watching. Make sure you then engage with who's watching. Go into their page, like their posts, comment on their posts. Make a note of the people that are watching your stories. They are your hot list. They are people that are watching you because in networking, we have people that watch us all the time, but we have to be attentive. We have to have our eyes open and we have to know who is watching us. You don't just put it on your story and say, oh, that's grand. That's there until tomorrow. You have to be very, very watchful. What about um, pop-up stands? So Fanola mentioned, you know, getting out and doing pop-up aloe stands. So they're fantastic. They're great for brand awareness. They're great for giving out your business cards. Are you prepared for business? Do you have your business cards? Do you have all the aloe vera samples that are available in your country? Have you got your stickers printed? So your stickers have your name and number. Put your stickers on the sample. Get out and about and talk to people. It's not all about sales, sales, sales. It's about building your name in your community with pop-up stands. Where can you have pop-up stands? You can have them anywhere. You can have them in shopping centers. You can have them in small shops. You can have them in schools. You can have them in um, gyms. You can have them in hairdressers. You can have them in so many different places. And it's about talking to people and, and making yourself, I suppose, known in your area. What about referral marketing? What about asking? That word, ask. Ask, ask, ask. Ask for business. Ask somebody. Would they like, would they help you? Ask somebody, would they refer? Do you like our products? Oh yeah, I love the products. Would you be able to refer two people to me? If you can refer two of your friends that might be interested, I can give you 10% off your next order. Happy days. It's like a loyalty program for your customers, but it's finding new people. We can have Zoom events. We can do experience packs. We can have clean nine groups and you know weight management groups. WhatsApp events, guys, there are so many ways of getting your business and your opportunity in front of a new set of eyeballs all the time. But you have to take action, inspired action, focused action. Fanola, how important is this slide? How important is this topic? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, again, it goes back to your passion and excitement. Ask two of your friends around for a cup of coffee. Just tell them you want to have, you know, for a cup of coffee and then tell them you want to just um get introduce them to new products. Or, you know, if you have a friend, say you want to practice talking about the business to people, particularly if it's somebody who wants to build a business. And as Aneve had said earlier, that's entirely your choice. But I remember when I started off, I went into my local shop and I was talking to a little girl behind the counter who had never seen before and she'd just been let go for her job. And I just said, do you know, there's a fantastic opportunity with Forever. Would you be open to taking a look? She said, yes. I panicked, went across <laughs> to my, my my beauty rooms, rang my sponsor, said, Amy, how do I talk to anybody about this business? I don't know. And she just gave me a few little pointers. And that was me started and that girl joined, my very first team member. Amazing. So we all have that because it it's stepping out of our comfort zone. But a great, a great little uh, key is if you say family members or friends that maybe just aren't really 
on for looking at the business or anything. What's them would they help you? Christine, would you mind helping me? I need to practice um, telling people about the business and just explaining it. Would you mind if I use you as a guinea pig and listen to me so then I can actually get some maybe feedback from you? Mm-hmm. What I'm doing is I'm introducing that business to Christine. What well, Christine doesn't realise that. What Christine is realising is that I'm helping my friend. I listen. Sure, I listen. There's no harm in listening. Mm-hmm. And I'll give her some feedback. It doesn't matter what she says. It's mm-hmm. just I've put that business in front of Christine. There might be something that I might just tap into and she'll be thinking slightly different. Oh God, I never knew that. Mm-hmm. I never knew I could earn that kind of money. Mm-hmm. I never knew I could get trips around the world, for all expenses paid. I never knew I could get money towards my car for three years. You see what I mean? So don't be afraid to ask people that are in your circle, particularly to just maybe just be practiced, be guinea pigs for you. okay? because practice makes perfect. But it is, as Neve said, about taking the action. So from this training today, guys, pick one action you're going to take going forward between now and next week. Don't just sit on the training, as Neve said at the beginning. One action that you say, I'm going to implement that. That might be just asking two friends to come around for coffee. It might be having a chat with some mums at the playground when you go there with the kids. It could be I'm deciding that I'm going to talk to my friend about this business. It doesn't matter what it is, but take one action. Mm, Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that one action. I think that is a really, really good uh, place to leave this training today. Panola, one action, one action for sure, for sure. Panola, thank you so, so much for joining um, for joining us this morning. And your input, as always, is uh, amazing and so valuable. And just your passion is incredible. And we're so, so lucky to have you. So, so thank you very, very much for joining us. Can Every I just day. say on that, yes. Neve, as I said, I'm 10 years in the business, but I have two pages of notes from that training this morning. And I mean, I have been, and you guys are so, so lucky to have an inspirational leader like Neve, who really puts all her time and, and effort into this. But it is about, as you said, we can talk, but it's you guys that must do the action and come back, challenge yourselves and come back next week and say, I tried this, but it didn't work. Or I tried this and it did work. Share your experiences because we all learn from that. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I'm going off to implement a few of those things you've talked about <laughs> myself, Neve. So thank you very for good, reminding Very good. Me. Panola, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Remember, take action, take inspired action, full throttle, whatever that is to you this week. But really keep your business in the forefront of your mind. And remember, businesses will make you money. Hobbies will cost you money. So choose wisely. Choose your pain. And it's going to be all, all good. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Good night. Thanks a million, everyone. Good night, everyone. Mind yourself. Bye-bye.